Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're looking at the ECM WFX Steady model for today's uh, second video. This is your 30 day uh, extended European outlook and I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. There's a 10 to 14 there with all our regular features coming up for you later on today as well. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. For Gals Worthy, thank you so much. And thank you so much to ECMWF.int for supplying the charts of the date as well, by the way. Thank you so much, EC. Uh, right, okay, you're going to start off, just put my leg and foot up. I'm going to start off with the uh, week one mean sea level pressure anomaly, taking us through the week that we're currently in, the 24th of June to 1st of July. Oh, uh, this next week, going to have high pressure to the north and to the northeast of Europe, and also out in the Atlantic, kind of ridging through the north and the west of uh, Europe in a way. But there's a trough of low that's sitting across other parts of Europe, seemingly. 500 millibar heights will normally show things up a little bit better with the above average heights from the Atlantic extending into western and also northern Europe. There is a trough of low pressure, though, down across more southern parts of Europe. Temperature anomalies then in the uh, week that we're in, the December week head, <laughs> is going to be a warm and average in most places. But down across the far south and southwest, actually it's cooler than average. So Spain, Portugal, central part of the Med to Italy, actually coming out a little bit below average with the temperature on it. But bear in mind, it is still a high summer, so we'll still be very warm to hot through those areas, especially when the sun's out. Further northwards, though, significantly above average temperatures, especially through much of northern and northeastern Europe. So we've got the Baltic Sea states, Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, going up into Finland and back to Norway and Sweden, coming out with temperature at normal, so three to six degrees above average. Generally, most other parts of Europe between around one to three degrees above average. Ireland, far west of the UK, a little bit cooler, maybe. And into the eastern portion of Mediterranean, Greece, Turkey, and going northwards in towards Romania, possibly the Balkans, uh, seeing above average temperatures through there, by western Russia. Actually, cooler than normal. Precipitation wise, we look like that. So, uh, where it's um, a bit cooler through parts of uh, Spain, Portugal, and in central part of there. There are some heavy showers through there and back to Italy as well. Some wet to ever extending in towards France and also parts of Germany. We've got the UK and Ireland coming out drier than normal. And then many eastern parts of uh, Europe from the Black Sea going right way up to the Baltic Sea states. There we see drier and average conditions as well. A little bit wetter than average through parts of Norway, drier perhaps through Denmark and Sweden. Right, week two will be the 1st to the 8th of July, so high pressure then setting up just to the west of the UK and Ireland, low pressure deepening from Iceland towards Scandinavia, uh, probably bringing in more of a west northwesterly flow across the north and the west of Europe, also some low pressure maybe running down the eastern side. Of Europe. The 500 millibar height to doubling looks like that. Again, we've got above average heights in the Atlantic just extending into the west of the UK and Ireland. And then low pressure in the North Atlantic through much of northern, central, and also some eastern parts of Europe. Jet stream looks like it'll be doing something a bit like that. Temperature anomalies then are cooling down quite widely across Europe. The warmth is being shunted right way over to the far eastern portion. And uh, by that, really, we're talking about uh, we're talking about Finland and uh, into the Baltic Sea states, Latvia, like Estonia, Lithuania, still to some degree, Belarus down to Ukraine to the Black Sea, and then southwards towards uh, Greece and Turkey. That's where we see sort of above average temperatures. But many other areas actually coming out cooler than normal, especially through the central and western regions. Some parts of France, for example, going down to, I think, three to six degrees below normal then for some uh, eastern parts of France and also northern Italy as well. More widely, one to three degrees uh, cooler than average through these central western portions of Europe. Ireland and the UK closer to normal and actually a little bit above average with potential only three parts of uh, Portugal. The Med also looking quite cool. Remember again these are anomalies to average so it will still be hot 
this time of year, through the Med down to North Africa. Um, but nevertheless, still a bit cooler than normal. Italy, Corsica, Sardinia, the Balearica, the Bjork, Minorca, Ibiza, and also the Costas through eastern southern parts of Spain, including that as well. Well, I say, uh, Greece, Turkey still coming out hotter than normal. And precipitation uh, looks like this. The wettest weather tending to be more towards the east and the south, particularly Italy over the age, asking into the Balkans, go northwards, um, up in towards parts of Poland, for example, could be coming out wetter than uh, normal through there, and maybe the far west of Ukraine. The extreme eastern uh, portion of Europe, Black Sea, going down towards uh, Turkey there, it's uh, um, uh, drier than average, although we do see that some parts of the uh, Greek islands are coming out wetter than average, central part of the bed, a bit wetter too. And then in Spain, Portugal get progressively drier the further west you go. Coming northwards, we see large portions of France into the low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, and also the UK and Ireland, drier than average, but north of that, towards Norway and Sweden, there we have some... <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, wetter than average conditions there. Week 3 will be the 8th to the 15th of July. Um, well, that looks rather strange. Some low pressure across southern and also, Europe, and also out into the Atlantic, maybe towards the Black Sea as well. Could this white area be a ridge starting to develop? Let's have a look at the 500 millibar heights. So uh, that shows the Azores high ridging up towards the UK and Ireland, but also some higher pressure towards the North East as well. It looks like balance weakening by the third week. Temperature normally is largely cooler than average still across these more southern, southeastern portions of Europe. Again, particularly Italy, the uh, Adriatic of the Balkans, looking a bit cooler through there. Also, southern parts of France and also some Germany, a little bit on the cooler side. The uh, far west of Europe, so that's like Western France, Spain, Portugal, UK, and Ireland. Island, there it looks a little bit warmer, although still cool up towards Iceland, and then the northeast of Europe and down towards the Black Sea, uh, starting to warm up as well. Uh, precipitation looks like that weakening signal as always for the third week, but we do see this drier uh, sway from the Azores towards uh, Ireland, UK, France, below countries, countries of Germany as well. That's as the uh, Azores highs reaching northwards, west of average into northern parts of Scandinavia and the Nordic regions, and then southern Europe, very uh, weak um, anomalies there for southern and also eastern portions of Europe. Week four will be the 15th to 22nd of July. Bit of a hint of some high high pressure developing towards Iceland then, uh, with low pressure in the Atlantic and into southern parts of Europe. The 500 millibar heights has some um, higher pressure again towards Iceland and also in towards the eastern and northeastern portions of Europe. Temperature on is generally uh, warming up a little bit, not excessively so. Warmest anomalies are actually over on the eastern side of uh, Europe. And precipitation for week four, very weak signals. So nothing usual could be gleaned from that, really, other than probably still quite dry towards France, Spain, Portugal, down into the bed. Right, that's your third today. Look, okay, done. But let's go through weeks five and six data before we go, because why not? So week five be the 22nd, 29th of July. So uh, that shows a strengthening signal for high pressure around Iceland, low pressure through parts of Europe. What about the 500 millibar heights? They're showing uh, above av average heights into the Atlantic, again, close towards the uh, northern Atlantic. Temperature anomalies, sort of average, slightly above, one or two places coming out a little bit below, very weak signals. And precipitation wise, so you can see where blocking is, it's up here in the Norwegian Sea, and underneath that, just maybe a slight hint that things are turning uh, wetter through uh, western parts of Europe. And then, largely, uh, lastly, I should say, week 6 will be the 29th of July to 5th of August. Um, rather strange-looking mean cell pressure anomaly, 500 millibar heights, looking very weak as well. Temperature anomalies, not much change, and precipitation anomalies, lastly. So, as we're going along, maybe a bit of a hint at the end of July into August, but it's turning wetter from the Atlantic in towards Ireland, UK, Germany, low countries. It's about August going down the tubes, <laughs> as uh, it so often seems to. I wonder. It's a long way off, weeks five and six, long, long way away, so I won't worry about August just yet. <laughs> 
Well, there we go. If you enjoyed the uh, broadcast, then please like, share, subscribe. Uh, thanks for doing that. Remember, it's just a snapshot, by the way, of what the model is showing. Could look completely different when we look at it again next Tuesday if it's selling European Outlook, or indeed next Friday evening when uh, we shall be doing the UK item focus video uh, with this model. Uh, right then, so again, if you enjoyed the forecast, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're going to be back a little bit later on with your 10 to 14 day. Oh, come back for that later. Uh, for the extended European outlook for this week, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.